when you walk in on the right hand side you got your salt water section and the fresh water section on the left divided by some live rock now just to the side of that you got a beautiful discus tank along with their plant section this is the salt water tank with an awesome puffer in there if you follow my instagram you've seen that guy before now here's the garami this garami is really cool very personable uh, I want to take him home, but obviously I have no space to put him. My 75 gallon is not big enough for this big guy. But look at that. Awesome guy. Now you got the red tail cat here. And a big pleco, a bino pleco. Put mouth on that thing. And this cat was pretty cool. Now staple in all fish stores, you gotta have those glow fish. There were a lot of tetras in this. Uh, facility, including uh, Buenos Aires Tetras there, uh, you got your white skirt Tetras, and uh, what is it called again, head and tail Tetras I believe they're called, and then uh, you got some golden barbs there, so there are a lot of cool fish in the store, and then pea puffers, who doesn't love pea puffers, so they had pea puffers here, I didn't get the price on them, I should have checked because I definitely want to get some of those guys in the future. I don't know, those are, these are the head and tail lights, so I'm not sure what the other ones were. I'll have to check on that. There are some goldfish here, I wasn't uh, too impressed with those guys, but uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know? That's what you typically get at the stores. Here's some cool bishes, look at the uh, rays on that one. Too bad these guys get really big. I would like to keep something small like that. Now these rams had some beautiful color on them. You can just see the uh, blues stick out. These are just blue rams. And uh, yeah, the face paint is cool. I wasn't too sure what these fish were. A lot of the things in these tanks weren't really marked correctly on, on the tank itself. So I had to take a guess at a lot of them. Now this one I posted on my Instagram as well. And I found out these are x-ray tetras. I kept on looking for ghost tetras. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but yeah, X-ray textures. Um, they also go by another name. I can't remember what it is either. Then you got some mollies here. Fish store overall is really clean though, so that's always a plus. And then you got some panda quarries. Uh, panda quarries with one bonus one there. I'm not sure what that one is. You see how that one has from the dorsal fin to the caudal fin, a black line. Let's see where to go gonna be over here right there so that one's slightly different I'm not sure what kind of uh, quarry that is I know there's tons of different ones so and then once again another staple in every uh, fish store you gotta have some neon tetras in there and you got some albino quarries as well here's some uh, guppies now their system here they it runs on a central system so it all goes to a sump and then reflows back to all the tanks. That's why they have the connected tanks like that. And you got some Congo Tetris here. These are really pretty, even though those didn't look too good. Uh, maybe they're too young, I'm not sure. You got the Bleeding Hearts. Blue Garamis. Now check this guy out. I wanted to take him home just because he did that to me. <laughs> and then uh, Koi. Koi, pretty cool. Oh. Is there, I, I never know because when they're so young they say they change so much as they get older so I'm afraid to buy something that young and then it just completely becomes something different when you get older here you got some electric blue acaras these are beautiful fish I like how you can see the red on some of the uh, top fins on some of those guys this was their cichlid section um, as you know, I'm not a very, I'm not a cichlid guy, so I don't know a lot of these, but the, the noose, this was really cool. Uh, one thing I think I noticed is I kind of appreciate them more when they're by themselves than in a big tank, uh, because they mix them up and you kind of, I don't know, one doesn't stand out versus the other. They're just all mixed up and they can get kind of confusing. Maybe, I, I don't know. Here's a nice OB that they had. Uh, the Geophagus, these were awesome. And this looks exactly how they looked in story. That green base color with the, that green metallic shine to them. It's really nice. Red Devil. 
I don't know why it looks like the price, I filmed the price tag. I guess I was curious. But uh, yeah, this guy's pretty cool. I mean, look, you see how you got the white body and he's got like the area in the front. Oh, here's the arowana. Arowana is awesome. No intro needed there. Everyone knows the arowana. Big, big red tiger, uh, red tiger Oscar. Maybe it's just a red Oscar. I don't know. But yeah, he was pretty cool too. I think they were giving him away for free because they, I guess they couldn't find anyone to buy them. Or who knows? Maybe they got them free and they were trying to get them off. So blood parrots. I find these to be uh, kind of odd fish. Just the way they look is weird. I want to say it's the hump in their face, but rainbows kind of get that too. Oh, then this thing here, this crab. I forgot to ask what it was because I really was, was really curious. I mean, it's just sitting there underwater. I can't even reach to the top, so not really sure uh, what that was. They had a large variety of angels here. So if you're ever interested in angels, you can check them out there. They got zebras, koi's, they had some blacks. So very cool amount of angels. Now, uh, here are the kissing garamis. Kiss, kiss. Turquoise rainbows, as you know, one of my favorites because I do have some of those guys. These look pretty nice for, for being as young as they were. Oh, and then here we got the albino millennium rainbow. And this one actually ended up coming home with me because I couldn't resist. Too bad they only had one though, or else I would have took more than one because I really liked it. And it's not something I see too frequently. And here they had uh, figure eight puffers, but I'm pretty sure it was on the freshwater system, so I don't know if it's just a temporary thing or or what the deal was there. And you got some roseline sharks and program is roseline sharks are one of my favorite fish, but they're so pricey. I want to get and I want to get a big school, you know. And here's the discus and. The, I've always said if I set up a, like a big show tank to try to impress people that aren't in the hobby, I would do discus because people just love these fish. And I think it might bring more attention to the hobby with them. Here's a nice little plant setup that they had. I really like the waterfall trickle down setup. And some crayfish, you got your blue crayfish here. I definitely plan on keeping some of these as well in the future. I want to try them out and see if I enjoy them or not. I don't know, blue or white, which one do you think I should get? Yeah, so here's their system again. It's really cool uh, visual effect to it. You got your Madagascar lace, 15 bucks though. Uh, jungle Val. And these are just labeled stem plants, so I'm not really sure what they were. They look like some type of. Uh, Maybe Rotala or something. You got an Acris there. And the one in the pot there it was labeled Monte Carlo. I'm not really sure if that's what it was though. <clears throat> and of course you got your mystery snails. Who doesn't like mystery snails? Like an alien. So that concludes the tour of this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, before I go, I wanted to remind everyone, you know, uh, if you haven't already, Make sure you guys support uh, Candy Overhauls. Uh, her son's going through chemo and she set up a GoFundMe and she's got a lot of support so far, but the, the mission's not done. So please check that link out below, guys. Until next time.